नमस्कार माई सेल्फ प्रतीक इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द प्रोसेस ऑफ फिटिंग ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन फॉर सिंपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस सेशन एज वी नो सिंपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन कैन बी यूज टू प्रिडिक्ट ए कंटिन्यूस और रियल वैल्यू वी कैन यूज सिंपल लीनियर रिग्रेशन टू प्रिडिक्ट द स्टाइप ऑफ ए रिसर्च स्कॉलर बेस्ड ऑन हिज हर रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस let us consider this data set here we have two attribute first attribute indicates year of research experience of a research scholar and second attribute correspond to stipend we have to decide the stipend of a research scholar based on his or her experience so in this case our input attribute will be research experience and output attribute is stipend here stipend is the dependent attribute whose value depends upon the research experience we can plot these values on a graph by plotting research experience on x axis and stipend on y axis and our objective of this will be to predict the value of a stipend on a given value of research experience we can build a machine learning model based on this data set in order to understand the working of this machine learning model let's first scatter these data points over this graph by scattering these data points over x and y axis you can see that these data points actually indicates the value of experience for this machine learning problem the more data we have the more accurately we will able to predict the objective of machine learning model will be to fit a straight line over these data points and by using this line we can predict the stipend of any researcher based on his or her research experience we know that the equation of straight line is y equal to mx plus c here y is our dependent variable and x is our independent variable m indicates the slope of this line while c is the constant we will use the equation of straight line to predict the value of independent variable in this situation and here it is represented in this way we have x as independent variable and y as dependent variable here phi not is equivalent to c and it represent a constant value while phi 1 is equivalent to m and it represent slope of the line so we will use this equation to find out the value of our dependent variable y based on the value of independent variable x in our example we have to find out the value of stipend based on research experience so x will be research experience and y will be stipend so this equation will become stipend equal to phi not plus phi 1 into research experience here research experience is our x which is independent variable and stipend is dependent variable which is equivalent to y it means the value of stipend can be predicted on the basis of research experience now let us understand the concept of phi not and phi 1 here phi not is constant and it refers to the value of dependent variable when independent variable is zero so please read this line again constant phi not refers the value of dependent variable in this case it is stipend when independent variable is zero in this case it is research experience it mean this is the value of stipend when research experience is zero in simple words it indicates the stipend paid to a fresher here phi 1 indicates the slope of line this is also known as the coefficient of independent variable and it denotes a unit change in x bring out a unit change in y it represent a unit change in research experience causes how much change in stipend if we increase research experience by 1 year what will be the corresponding change in the stipend this information will be given by slope of the line if the slope of line is high 
then by adding one year of experience there will be huge increase in the stipend of the corresponding researcher but if the slope of line is low then by adding one year of experience there will be not much change in the stipend of corresponding researcher by having this straight line we can predict the value of stipend on any given value of research experience for example if we wish to predict the value of stipend for a researcher having a research experience of 5 year we can find out that value by drawing a vertical and horizontal line over this straight line you can clearly find out that all predicted values will be find out on the basis of this straight line while all these scattered data points indicate the actual values so this dot indicates actual value while the corresponding value of the straight line indicates predicted value this difference between predicted and actual value is indicated as error so here actual value is y while the predicted value is y dash the difference between actual and predicted value is considered as error for this particular instance same way we can calculate the value of error for this particular instance and by following the same approach we can find out the value of error for all the instances you can further understand that this value of error may be positive for one instance but it may be negative for other instance so in order to ignore the sign of that error we normally find out the square of these errors so our objective is to fit a straight line in such a way that this error should be minimum now in order to calculate the overall value of the error we find out sum of square errors so here you can see that predicted value minus actual value indicate the value of error we are scaring these values to ignore its sign and we have to calculate the value of error for all the instances and ultimately we are finding the sum of all those instances so this is sum of square error this is also called as a cost function and we have to minimize the value of this error or cost function in order to get the better idea of this error we can also find the average of sum of square error so by minimizing the sum of square error we can find out the best possible fitted straight line over these data points the objective of simple linear regression algorithm is to minimize this error or cost function when we able to minimize this error or cost function we will able to get best fitted straight line and by getting that best fitted straight line we will able to make most accurate predictions this is all about this session i request all of you to subscribe this youtube channel to receive latest video tutorials on topics like data mining machine learning dbms big data no sql and many more to learn sql in a simplified way you can join this free online course on sql which is available at udemy platform you can join this online course on plsql which is also available at udemy platform to learn plsql i have also authored books on data mining and data warehousing dbms no sql beginning with sql and plsql for beginners all these books are available at amazon platform to read more about this you can follow my website pratikbhatia.com thanks for watching this video